guys, it's me from the future. Um, I just wanted to pop in before this vlog really starts and just say I love you guys. Um, in this vlog, I'm really anxious, so I and I cut out a clip where I get kind of like emotional and I'm talking about like all the families that are affected and I can't even imagine those who are like losing their jobs, who have like families to support and stuff. Um, but I don't want this to be like a super depressing negative vlog because I know a lot of you guys are watching vlogs to kind of escape, so I decided to keep that clip out of it, um, but just know, like, I love you guys, I'm so sorry, just to everyone, like, this is just such a horrible, horrible time, and it's really hard, but I think, um, the best thing that we have is community, and I think that it's been cool to kind of see, like, weird bonding things out of this, I don't know, I'm trying to look on the bright side, I think it's also a good time to, like, if you have a new project, you want to start from home and do all these things, like, do it, you know, I started my YouTube channel, and I didn't really leave, have to leave my house for a long time. Just things like that. I'm going to be posting as much as possible to kind of just, I don't know, be a distraction. When I even started my YouTube channel, it's because I watched YouTube videos growing up to be a distraction. Not during a time like this. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just love you guys. And uh, life in the world is really overwhelming right now. And everything is confusing. And, like, obviously most of us haven't left my house in, like, four or five days. <laughs> like... Um, and we probably will be here for a long time, but I'm just really grateful for like my friends and my family and things and times like this and for our community. I think now this is why I want to even come in here. Like if you have the means to help someone, help someone. I'm trying to look into different ways that I can help people out or like trying to come up with different ideas and stuff like outside of like the close people in my like in my life. But I think as a community, we should band together and help each other in any sort of way. That doesn't need to be financially. It can be if you can't do financially, like if someone's small business just needs promotion or things like that. Um, I don't know. Let's get creative. If you guys have any ways that we can help each other or help our world, obviously social distance. We've Besides that, I feel like most of us are doing that at this point. And if you're not, you need to be social distancing. Um, but yeah, that's what we... That is what this community is for. It's for supporting each other and helping each other. So um, I'm going to have the Facebook group, which we guys have always been in. I know a lot of you guys are going to want to just like comment in like a YouTube comment. The Facebook group is way more of a community and we're just like a lot tighter there. So um, yeah, that's going to be open. All you have to do is join. I accept very, very quickly. I accept pretty much everyone. This is just scary right now, guys. Um, I'm really grateful and I just keep thinking about like, how many people, I, there's this organization Baby to Baby in LA that I love and if you guys can help them out if you're in LA like 100% whenever this all kind of calms down, definitely get in contact with them. But they really opened my eyes to how easy it is to like go into poverty and lose your house and how people like, you don't really ever imagine yourself as homeless but like that is the reality for so many people is that like they're two paychecks away from being homeless. And, like, I, I said I was going to cut the clip out, and I'm just saying it all again here. But it's a little bit li more lighthearted than when I was talking the other day. Um, so, yeah, my heart, like, is just heavy for everyone, and it just sucks. And I want everyone to stay home and be healthy. But, yeah, if you guys have any... If you guys just want, like, not even help, just a community, people to talk to, whatever. Facebook group is where it's at. Podcasts are going to be normal. YouTube videos are going to be normal. All of that stuff so you guys can come to our channel to our channel it's like all of ours um and yeah but i love you guys and let's get into the vlog all right hi guys um i just landed i ended my nostril vlog two seconds ago we are at dfw terminal d the best terminal um anyways i <laughs> we ended our trip early and we're back i actually just said bye to keaton because she flew she had a connecting flight so we we're on the same flight and she is off to portland and now i am home so basically we're gonna go grocery shopping get all the things that we have to get and then not leave the house for who knows how long so we need food i already have so much toilet paper thank god for costco when i moved like i got so much stuff yeah so we're fine on that stuff but yeah that is what we're doing today we're staying safe social distancing but we do need to get groceries and stuff before we do so um, also, I'm gonna make a bucket list of things I want to do. Yeah, I just have some fun ideas to keep myself occupied. Keep in mind, this is not much different than my normal scheduled programming besides the fact that I can't go work out elsewhere because, like, I don't really leave my house anyways. But now that it's, like, not my option to not leave my house, I feel like I'm gonna go stir crazy, you know? But anyways, this is what needs to be done. So, 
that is what we're doing. If you guys are new here, subscribe. I'm gonna be posting a lot probably this week because I have nothing to do other than film, edit, and upload videos. So, hope you guys uh, like them. Anyways, my outfit for today, this coat is misguided. It is so freaking cute. I wore it in Nashville. And for the 30 minutes that we left our Airbnb, I got so many compliments on it. Um, and then my gray American Eagle crew neck. Guys, this thing, I think it's like pretty often on sale for like 25 or $30. I did a deal with them a few months ago, maybe like last month actually. Kate did the same deal and we picked out the same crew neck and we were talking about how soft they are in Nashville. It is the softest crew neck I've ever worn in my entire life and it's from American Eagle. I will link it below. Anyways, we're going to Trader Joe's and then we might go to other grocery stores if we need to. I don't know. We are stocking up. All right, guys, so we're at Trader Joe's. Q is getting the necessities, which is wine. Um, the rest of it, we are only getting a lot of what they have a lot in stock. Like, I'm not gonna be the person that, like, if you see a lot of food, it's because there was a lot here. This is really stocked up. I'm gonna get some chicken and salmon. This is everything we have, it's so crazy. All right, guys, grand total for this Trader Joe's trip, 205. But we got a lot of food that like isn't gonna go bad that I, I just normally don't keep in my house because it's not the healthiest. Like I have mac and cheese, five boxes of it for the first time ever because they had like 300. So I was like, why not? Um, but we made sure to leave things, which I think is important. If there's not that much of it, don't take that much because other people need to get it. So I made Quinn just put back some things so that other people could take she it. Maybe put back the charcuterie. <laughs> there's plenty of that. No, you're being so ridiculous. Okay, so. We gotta go to the car. I don't know if there's actually even an elevator. We're at the Knox Henderson Trader Joe's. I don't know why we keep going here. It's not even my closest Trader Joe's, but anyways. We can go there too. Yeah, we might just Trader Joe's hop. Just kidding, we're going home and like not leaving. So that's why all this is happening. Hugh, I think that you have to just bring the car around, okay? No, I'm just gonna walk up. We're gonna, oh, he's gonna make us walk up like three levels of. Can't get the quarantine 15? <laughs> He's afraid that he's going to gain a bunch of Well, we're both probably going to gain a bunch of weight. No, we're not. We're not going to. I'm actually, I'm not. Recently, I just primed resistance bands. I don't have weights. And I literally almost bought the Bala Bengals. And I really want them. Now I'm kicking myself for not buying them. But I only have resistance bands and a mat. But I think I can do, I mean, I can do a lot of like Pilates stuff. It's just not going to be as good of a workout. But it's better than nothing, you know? True. Quentin's really hard at work here. Engaging the core. Engaging the core, yeah. So we'll be working out every day, or else I will for sure go crazy. See, everyone was laughing at me because I want to make my gym, um, like my garage part gym, and everyone's like, you don't need that. You, I need a gym for times like this, okay? So, just saying, everyone is making fun of me, and now everyone will be hitting me up, even though they can't come over, because no one is coming or leaving. That is the plan. So, um, I don't know what's happening. Anyways, I can't wait to go home and shower. Okay guys, we're back. We have a ton of groceries. I don't even want to do a grocery haul because Q already started unpacking. He was staying here this weekend with Coco um, and just watching the house in Coco. Uh, we have so much like random plastics. That's all that was available. Like this one had never had this kind, but there was so much of this. So I took this instead of like taking, you know what I'm saying? If I have none of this, whatever. So we got three because there's a lot of them. I'm gonna have this right now, I'm really hungry. But yeah, we had just, this is what I'm currently using as my pantry, which I'm gonna, I don't even really care. For the next however long, I will organize this and keep it organized, but my pantry's gonna get built up, hopefully sooner rather than later. So that's why all this is a mess. Q just came with the last grocery bag. He has stuff for mac and cheese also. They had a lot of this pasta. We're basically gonna live off pasta. That's why he thinks it's the quarantine 15, which is like not funny, but like, you know, making the best of it. So I'm gonna have one of these. I found out about these from Brooks Vlogs and they're so freaking good. All right, so Quintic is trying to keep boxes out of things on the counter. Oh my gosh, I had the worst hiccups on the counter. Like that's just not happening. So that stuff's all up there. Um, we have this stocked. I cannot wait for a real pan. Oh my gosh, I keep picking up me. I can't wait for a real pantry. Sorry guys. Frozen food. This is the, <laughs> my hiccups. This is the first time I've even had frozen food at all. And then, um, my pantry or my fridge. It's very stocked. It's not one of those like Pinterest organized fridges. I would love to do that, but I need to go to the container store. So anyways, 
this is what we have. Ship, which is an app that allows you, if you guys listen to Moon, she works with them. I would love to do a deal with them on my podcast, but basically it's an app where you, your friends can like control your dating profile a little bit. It's really actually cool, but they sent me a big box of goodies. Um, all of these like liquid, all these like little liquid coolers, which are cool. Some candy, some of these recess drinks with CBD in them. Okay, I've wanted to try them. I think they're CBD, right? Yeah, exactly. Yes, I was right. Um, also, again, Lauren loves these. I've wanted to try them for forever, and now is legit the perfect time to have these. So there's a bunch of those. There is some wine. So literally, this is the first time I probably bought wine for my house and actually ever. Um, and now I have three bottles of wine. There's a bunch of candy, some bags. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, and there's shirts. Cute, so ship, ship. Oh my gosh, so cute. Candy, recess, I'm really excited. I'll let you guys know how I like these. Guys, I'm back. It gets better. So they gave me a set of cards that are like so cute. Oh my gosh, I don't even have a set of cards. So this will actually be fun. We will be playing, I know. Quentin's reading it, I already read it. Super cute. But I'm trying to make sure we got all the candy out. I have all these bags, which I'm gonna use for groceries. So I'm gonna put these in my car when I get my car back. I know. These are my favorite growing up. Really? Another box to open. Oh, Class Pass also sent me something while I was gone. Cute little Class Pass. Um, bag a class pass hat and then a water bottle which is always so convenient i love i also got a package from charlotte tiller oh there's even more stuff than i thought so i just got added to their mailing list so they sent me this cute little this cute little note and they sent me a bunch of their hero products which i'm really excited to try out oh my gosh as well as a perfume which i love perfumes i actually don't think i've even ever been sent a perfume besides through scentbird so i'm gonna try this this is what the perfume looks like okay It smells really good. It's like very fresh and kind of like, I know that classic doesn't have a smell, a scent, but you know what I'm saying. So here are the products. This moisturizer I've heard amazing things about. They also gave me this sheet mask that apparently it's an instant magic facial dry sheet mask. Um, you just do it for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna do this with our shower or maybe when I have like an actual skincare spa time. They gave me, I'm gonna try this out. I've been, you guys know, I've been like really into new products lately, especially cause I feel like I've been using the same stuff for forever. This is a really pretty lip liner. That's like the color I go for typically with lip products. There's this little sculpt and highlight thing, which I don't even have another. I have one highlighter. Um, so that's really, really pretty. Just an easy nude lipstick. And then this also is a blush. Really trying to open this for you. Okay, here we go. That's a really pretty color. So I will not really probably be wearing make, I don't know, maybe I'll be trying new makeup looks and stuff, who knows? So I'm gonna bring this up and see, I also wanna try this when I actually go back to it. So it's the Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Lash. Flash, not lash, what am I trying to say? Um, so I really am excited to try this because it's like kind of advertised for dull skin. So I need this because when I get pale, I feel like my skin is so dull. So that is like basically my one skin concern that I have. They're like my major skin concern, you know? So that is what I'm really excited for. Also, this stuff is just so cute. I just did a quick deep clean of my house. I cleaned all the floors, the coffee table. I lit the couch. Quentin lit rolled the couch. I cleaned all over there. Mom, are you wearing my slippers? Yeah, I put them on. Um, yeah, so I still have to put all of this stuff away and then also organize or unpack my luggage and then I'm gonna shower and then unload the dishwasher, load it, and then do whatever for today. This candle, I was like, I only have two candles left right now, so that's really mm -hmm. tragic, truly. But I feel so much better now that the house is cleaned, don't you? Feels great. Feels so good, right Coco? Coco's so excited to just chill and have so much attention for the next few however long. I just cleaned my bathroom pretty quickly. Now it's time to unpack. Once I unpack, I will shower and then do nothing today. Actually, my now my spray tan's getting messed up there. But um, anyways, also if you guys are Dallas people, I got the best airbrush tan in my life at the tan bar. Um, I went just because I found them online and my cousin was like, they're the best, you need to go. She wasn't kidding, literally the best thing ever. Um, so I'm just gonna unpack really quickly because I'm one of those maniacs that <laughs> unpacks as soon as I get home. And then um, probably, Q. Hopefully Quentin will make lunch, but um, we'll see if that happens. And then 
I need to edit the natural vlog to have it up tomorrow. And that's pretty much all I have for sure on my to-do list today. Like, it's crazy because so many things have like actually just like legitimately been canceled, dropped, whatever. So, um, I normally have like 15 things I could be working on, which I can, but a lot of those things have now been canceled, which is fine. Um, but it's just like a lot less workload slash I have a lot less motivation. So like I want to be filming and posting a lot because I know a lot of you guys like are bored at home and want to watch videos and stuff. Um, but I also am lacking motivation. Just kind of want to lay around like everyone else. But we'll be vlogging because it also kind of keeps me on a routine and stuff. I'm also going to do like a morning routine when I work from home because a lot of you guys have been asking for tips since I already do it. Um, so I am going to be doing that. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and deal with this suitcase situation. Okay, this light bulb is not it. I didn't put the cover up yet because I don't have a toolkit, but I have now unpacked and then put everything in my hamper, put up my coats, all of that stuff. I'm sure I'll do more organizing in my closet. Honestly, it doesn't really, it can't really get more organized as of right now, but I'm sure at some point, like I'm sure by the end of this, my house will be unbelievably organized. But um, yeah, I just got out of the shower. I put on a moisturizer, some leave-in conditioner. I need to put lip balm on, but I'm just in cozy clothes because I need to go edit and make some lunch. So I'm gonna make, um, I think probably salmon. Surprise, surprise. Guys, do I literally, I don't eat anything besides salmon, um, but I'm gonna go downstairs. Oh, shoot, what the heck? Okay, so making some sweet potatoes and then I'll make the broccoli and um, salmon, but I moved all these into here. This is like kind of great for like on-go stuff as well, but I'm gonna make some coffee. I had a coffee this morning at like 5 a.m. Um, when I was in Nashville at the airport. But now, also guys, okay, I have a new favorite K-cup from Trader Joe's. This is my favorite. It's the Ethiopian blend coffee cups. I really like this. I like anything Colombian coffee, basically. Um, but I have some stocked up for who freaking knows how long. I also have a lot of tea. I need to take those off, but I really haven't even drank that much tea lately. All right, making coffee. I'm about to get to work at this table. I have a nice candle burning. Gonna maybe play some Nora Jones and then get to editing and hopefully finish this whole vlog pretty quickly. All right, guys, I finished editing my video. It's been exporting. My laptop just died. And we are actually gonna start watching Twilight. I definitely thought Quentin would not watch this with me. And then he said, he wants to have a Twilight Marathon because he's not seen all of them. So we're going to watch the first one. We have pizza and stuff to make for dinner. And I'm going to make a quarantine bucket list. Dallas just closed everything. Dallas just closed like bars, restaurants, gyms, everything. Past 8 p.m. tonight. So I don't know. My guess is that we're in we, 10 days. 10 days. T 10 to 14. You just said a week, that's why I went down. I thought it was gonna be two, my dad said two, three weeks at least, and he like always knows things, so we'll see. All right guys, I look crazy because I've just been laying down so my hair is all messed up, but okay, the AC is like really cold. That needs to be turned off. Anyways, um, everything has closed in Dallas as of 8 p.m. tonight, everything shut down. So we're not actually Obviously, you guys are like watching this, you would know, but I'm just trying to give you a. We live, you watch this video like way, way later or something. Um, there's no official like quarantine or lockdown yet, but I can only assume that it's coming. So, um, anyways, also, it's just the like responsible thing to do to already have started social distancing. So, if you are able to stay home, it's definitely like. If you were able to stay home, you should be staying home, basically. But. Anyways, uh, with that being said, we're gonna have some time at home. Q and I are finally making our homemade pizza that we have wanted to make for quite some time now. I'm gonna put this on the crust. <laughs> okay. We got pizza sauce. Yeah, we have Should pizza adjust. sauce. The ready to bake dough. dough. Cheese, so. cheese. Oh, we don't need to make these cookies tonight. Maybe we'll see. I already had can't. Okay. Well, we have flour and stuff as well to make that. So that'll be fun. Two cheeses and Parmesan cheese. All right, I'm now making it some green tea while we start. Q is, <laughs> he, he's been so excited to make this pizza. You guys have no idea. Oh wow, you're very good at this. 
I really. Oh, hey. Coco, I saw that. Did you see that? She's just trying to move her gate. That's Rude. slick, Coco. No, no. This is family pizza night. Don't ruin it. I'm trying to make it like where the crust pops up a little bit. This smells so good. Oh my gosh. This is specifically pizza sauce from Trader Joe's. Buongiorno. What am I, Italian all of a sudden? I really wish I was, <laughs> but 23 and me, if you know, you know. Quentin is so precise and organized, and oh my gosh, I wanna go back to Italy and take it to him two miles again. Actually. That was seriously so fun. Merck makes a dream work. Oh my gosh, this almost fell. Guys, all my merch is available on Amazon, the old stuff for the obvious Switch podcast, like all this stuff, and then, um, my Yeehaw Crews, those are all available if you guys wanted to shop. But anyways, okay, so um, I'm gonna go through like my quarantine like rules, bucket list, honestly, just like the way to make the best of this because I know, I know a lot of you guys have anxiety and I know this is like a really hard time for a lot of people because they're either not like working, not getting paid, combination of both, maybe they're like away from all their like family, loved ones, all that stuff, so. I have gathered a bucket list of things to do and ways to like kind of just make the best of the situation. I will still be working, just not as much as I normally do. Like a lot of things have been canceled. Obviously I can always make YouTube videos and stuff. That's just like one part of like my overall job though. Um, podcasting is pretty much staying the same, but I have like a lot of in-person meetings and recordings and things like that that obviously are not gonna be happening. So I'm really like obviously grateful, but it's just gonna be like a little bit slower. And I don't know, I think obviously this is like a really not the best time, but I'm going to try to make the best of it. And also hopefully this channel will be somewhere where you guys like feel better throughout all of this. I have my bucket list of things that I wanna do. This is basically use this as a time to do things that you've wanted to do that you feel like you just don't have enough time for or to like watch shows and series and like new music, new podcasts, all that stuff that you guys feel like you don't already do. Okay, I really wanna learn more Photoshop. I'm not passionate about Photoshop, but I need to know the bare minimum. Like it's ridiculous that I don't know that already. Um, so I wanna learn that. Um, also, I wanna have like the whole, I love you so much Instagram plan to a T to where like the temples are on, everything's done for like quite some time. I'm gonna film and edit a ton and I have a lot of video ideas and like Instagram posts that I'm gonna like shoot for and videos and stuff. That's not another thing that you guys will see, it'd be boring to go through that, but I have a lot of ideas. So I do definitely plan on doing that. Um, okay, I recorded with Megan and Liz on the podcast they were telling me that the Elvis Presley book was like, there was this one Elvis Presley book that was like incredible. So I wanna read that. Um, I'm gonna set up my office if my furniture comes. I don't know how that works. Like it was already ordered, so we'll see. Um, reorganize my pantry right now. I have a closet that's going to my pantry that's not set up. Um, I wanna find new things on Skillshare. Like Skillshare's a really good place. This is not an ad. Um, to learn new things and hobbies. Brainstorm for this like idea thing that I'm working on. Cook more. I also wanna make like a, some sort of organization no, like not necessarily like a physical recipe book, but I want to put all the things that I normally cook in one because I'm a very visual person. So I would like to have some sort of almost recipe book, even like a digital form to where I can just go and be like, oh yeah, I forgot. Because there's meals that I used to always make that I always forget. And then I get stuck on the same meal for like a year basically. Um, and then also, I mean, there, I'm leaving off like more detailed stuff. I want to have an entire day where I literally just like, don't do anything at all. I feel like I... Don't really ever have days like that. Like, I'll like do something and then go. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's kind of hard to have a whole day to do nothing. And I think we're gonna have some time. So, um, with that being said, we're gonna make the best of it. If you guys want me to vlog more, let me know. Um, or want me to film normal videos or anything, just leave your request down below because I will probably have time. I'm feeling very unmotivated right now. Not gonna lie, but I will definitely have the time. So, oh, also, I'm gonna do at-home workouts. And the home workouts that I normally do are Shannon from Hot Pilates. You can just like, Google, like search it on YouTube. Pops up really quick. Or I want to try out like Melissa Wood Health. I heard, I hear about her all the time. I get like really into certain bloggers. I find people that I'm like obsessed with. And um, I don't know. I just like always get like kind of re-inspired when I don't leave my house actually. Coco really wants to come up here. But yeah, we, this is my little chat with you guys. Um, 
anyways also if you guys are not in my facebook group you guys should because everyone's chatting in there and like making each other feel better and also kind of getting more info and just talking making friends or even like getting distracted and stuff so that's always linked down below you guys are obviously the the group is for you you're obviously more than welcome to join it's very fun um i didn't understand the facebook group hype until i made one and now it's my favorite thing ever uh, oh like literally over instagram over twitter over everything that i do my facebook group was my favorite part like form of social media so i'm gonna drink my green tea and hopefully our pizza will be done soon and then we're gonna watch twilight i'm so exhausted i think because i didn't go to bed till 1 30 i woke up at 5 30 something so yeah i think i don't know i didn't really sleep much last night now it's catching up to me also i've been making a lot of instagram tv videos lately oh my dad's calling me so maybe i'll make more of those but i'm gonna call my dad back there's our pizza it actually looks beautiful clinton is insisting on buttering the crust with his garlic butter garlic butter so anyways that is probably gonna be it for today's vlog we're gonna eat and watch twilight and i'll probably fall asleep so hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you guys have not already be sure to subscribe follow me on instagram hope you guys are feeling as good as possible love you guys and i'll see you soon bye